think about the biblical prison of the family and community. You got to think of Kilo and Yasha. There's no way around it. Uh, Richard Brown, our brother, who made this transition in the last year or so. Uh, Richard Brown was like a soldier's soldier. If you looked in the dictionary on the soldier, there was a picture of Richard Brown. <laughs> if you looked in the dictionary under human being, there was a picture of Richard Brown. And these are some of the victories of, the, of what the Freedom Archives have done. If you look in the dictionary of liberation movements, of people supporting liberators, the, the work the Freedom Archives did around Oscar Lopez Rivera, who was able to walk, is another is motivated by great feelings of love. I want us to keep loving our communities and realize that when I'm up here asking for donations, the Freedom Archives is asking you to donate online, that they're not asking you simply to donate because you're in the jaws of the tiger. They're asking you to donate because this is a movement about love. It's about recognizing humanity and, and to recognize the fact that we have had some victories, that we've had some things. Herman Bell. Cohen Telcro has been put on the table because of this. And the young brothers and sisters who are out there with Black Lives Matter and uh, Movement for Black Lives and the Trayvon Martin people, Dream Defenders, all these people. And, and their families have learned from this process. There was a, a event at the Black Panther Party it was probably about eight or ten years ago. And Tariqa Lewis, who many of you may know as Tariqa Lewis, many of us before knew her as Matalaba. Uh, I met Matalaba many years ago when she first came to uh, Marin City. Uh, we were all together working in collective. Matalaba came in and drew all over the apartment walls and we all got a victim. So, <laughs> so in the middle of this celebration about the Black Panther Party exhibit over, I think, at the Yerba Buena, Tariq was standing there quiet in the middle of the crowd. And at some point I walked over, I said, Tariq, why are you so quiet? Why are you just standing here? She said, you know, Walter, she said, a lot of people didn't make it. And that, that's, that continues to stick in my mind. So we're supporting free of archives, because we lose organizations too. If you look around the Bay Area, there's some people who've done research organizations, activists, they're no longer around. So making sure that Freedom of archives is around is part of that commitment. And I know that people are not wealthy. Uh, you can do a monthly thing. Uh, you can drop by and you can donate. Uh, you pay at the door. Whatever you can do to make sure that we have the tools and the weapons uh, to continue to be victorious. That's very, very important. Those things are absolutely crucial to how we go forward. Um, Freedom Archives is not a big organization. Uh, we have two people. We have a number of volunteers. Uh, we get hits from all over the world. People are interested in the work that we're doing around George Jackson. Uh, people are interested in the work that we've been doing around Puerto Rico. People are interested in the work that we're doing around Haiti. But the, but the main thing, I think, is that um, we really have to love what we're doing. We've really got to put that energy out there. Um, yes, uh, we've lost a lot of people, but we have won a lot of victories. And when I say, when I say won a lot of victories, I think sometimes we have a tendency, I, I see my friend back there, uh, Barbara Cox, who, uh, whose husband actually was a person who introduced me to the work of the, of the Black Panther Party. I think sometimes, maybe it's a Western ideology, I don't know, where we look at people as kind of silent and we look at them as individuals. But when you're helping people like Richard Brown, when you're helping people who are like John Brown, when you're helping people in the San Francisco way, you're talking about saving families. You're talking about saving communities. You're talking about saving extended families. And we have to be very, very engaged in that particular process. Again, as Che Guevara would say, a true revolutionary is motivated by great feelings of love. So, if you can make a donation, it would be great if you can make a donation. Because as you're leaving the door, uh, you can leave something at the, at the front desk. It may not be much, uh, it, it, it may be what you can leave. Um, if you go through and you're writing checks and you get something extra, 
I have a thing that I do whenever I get a speaking engagement. I get a certain fee. I say, look, I'm going to take $10 or $15 out. I'm going to send it to an organization that, that needs that. So whatever you can do to make sure that we're still here, um, being able to fight, um, being able to win, uh, being able to hug people, being able to save families, being able to talk about Palestine, being able to talk about Haiti, being able to talk about Colombia, being able to talk about Venezuela, being able to talk about Venezuela, being able to talk about South Africa, being able to talk about Cameroon, being able to talk about Togo, being able to all of this. We've got to fight for this. We've got to fight for this. As Frederick Douglass says, you know, um, I'm honored to be here. I'm honored to be asked to speak on the day of Malcolm X, Yuri Kochiyama, and Ho Chi Minh. Right hand there. But Frederick Douglass would say, power can seize nothing without a demand. It never has, and it never will. And we have to be the force that makes that change. Much respect. Thank you.